Sorry about that. So, um, all right. Uh, now, uh, one thing I'll, I'll ask you when we, uh, when we end the lab is, uh, what's the direction of dip? Is it east or west? OK. So uh, think about that. OK. Um, the, uh, the x, as I describe in the setup for the lab, the x coordinates increase to the west. No, I'm sorry. The x coordinates increase to the east. So it's is as as you'd expect. Okay, the x coordinate is an easting coordinate. So uh, um, your group is going to want to answer the question: uh, Is it an east or west dip that we're talking about here at you know ten to thirteen degrees? So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to save and copy the whole sheet. Um, under edit, copy sheet, uh, move it before that one, um, create a copy. Okay, we'll rename that. Uh, let's do uh, question eight. Okay. So, um, now, what's uh, what's going to be different about um, about eight? Um, and I'll uh, go back. Okay, we're going to make a different interpretation, right? This was uh, question uh, um, six. That was our um, that was our favorite interpretation. Okay. We try to put everything through the middle of the points. All right. So let's. Um, uh, we're skipping seven. I want to make a low velocity interpretation. All right. So I'm going to adjust each line so that it's as low as I can make it. Okay. Because it's you know it's still going to fit the data in a in a decent way, and we're going to see the differences in the calculations. Okay. So. Um, uh, let's start with the forward, okay? And I want to make a low velocity interpretation, so I'm gonna, you know, pull this back so it's steeper, right? And that's that's gonna hit that very first uh, geophone, you know, the very first point right here. So that's as low a velocity as I can make v1 forward, v1 uh, reverse. Um, I can't quite do the same thing, right? Because there's there's two picks there, uh, but I could maybe make it graze it back there a bit. So that's that's a lower velocity. Okay. Um, and then uh, uh, I'll fit the reverse, uh, and I want to make that velocity as low as I can. So I'll change that. I'll move this one down. I got to keep its intercept time still, you know, greater than zero. And now I'll move this out, and you know, I'm not, I'm not fitting a lot. I'm not fitting the points at the end, but I'm fitting these points in here maybe better. So I got a lower velocity interpretation, and it fits a lot of the points better. Okay. Uh, now, what about? Um, uh, now I gotta. Uh, I've, I've decided I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep the same. Uh, I'm gonna keep the. Uh, I'm gonna make the reciprocal time fit the. Uh, the forward. Uh, I, I'm sorry. The reversed. Um, the the time of the reversed v2 line at the end. So now I've adjusted the. Uh, I've adjusted the. Um, uh, the reciprocal time to be back a bit. And now I can fit it with a lower velocity interpretation of the um, uh, of the v1 forward line. So that comes back to there, and then this one I'm going to pull up, uh, not that far, but yeah, I'll put it there. 
you know, it's fitting some points, and then I'll try to leave it at the source location, which is right there. So that is a you know a low velocity version of the um, of the interpretation. It fits a lot of the points, but maybe fewer points than my you know than the number six uh, favored interpretation. I still got the you know still still they meet the the reciprocal time. I had to had to change the reciprocal time, but but you know I still have that criterion where both v two lines go to the reciprocal time. Any questions about doing that low velocity interpretation? So uh, let's uh, let's get some velocities here. Um, you know, so all these are uh, are invalid now. I just got to go through them and put them in. Uh, so that's still the same. These two are the same, but now I should go to here. So that's uh, six forty, and um, six forty and point three four point three three. Okay, so 640, 0 0.33, okay, and uh, for V2, um, okay, goes through that one, that's 740, and um, uh, Let's see, 740, and that's 0 0.20. OK. And then on the other side, let's see, what have we got? Oh, that one looks pretty good. 180 and 0.29. And it's that's the same number, okay. So one of the things I'm looking for is that is that uh, I really do get a lower velocity, right? Um, and uh, actually, um, let's see if I move to back to the question six tab. I had 561, and how did I get? Uh, uh, I got a higher velocity here. I was going for a lower velocity. How did that happen? Right. Thank you. Right. I just put the data in wrong. Okay, and 415 is lower than 512 or whatever it was. So. So that is a lower velocity interpretation. Okay, and instead of you know twelve thousand for v two, I got uh, six thousand something. So that's lower. That's good. And um, Uh, on the other side, uh, let's see. Let's use. Uh, oh, that's a pretty good one. Three hundred point one six for V one. So I'm starting with nineteen hundred. And I go down to seventeen hundred, so that's that's good. Lower, a little bit lower velocity, and V two. Let's see. 
That's probably good enough. That's 60 and 0 0.03. And um, let's find one up here. That's close enough. 660 and uh, 0.27. So that's going to change from 3,000 something down to 2,500. Okay. So I've, I've got my lower velocities. My V1 average is lower. That's good. Uh, my my, inter my um, critical angle uh, went, um, uh, went up. Um, that's, that's reasonable. Um, the V2 is, is uh, lower, right? So I compare it to 6. I got a V2 of 4,400, almost 4,500, and I, now I'm getting a V2 of 3,500. Okay. Um, and um, uh, notice the uh, the dip went down too, and also the uh, the depths are less. Right. So you accumulate more time in in lower velocities. Right, there's more intercept time coming from from more time in lower velocity material, and uh, the depths go down. Dip goes down. Um, the 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 check is still three degrees different, not unusual. Um, so, uh, uh, and how much should they go down? Uh, a fair amount. Um, you know the V two that changed by um, by uh, uh, like twenty five percent. Big change in V two, um, <clears throat> and the uh, uh, the depth changed by what was it one eighty six and seventeen. Um, it changed by uh, ten percent. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, think about that. I, though, yeah. All right. Um, all right. Rapidly running out of time. So let's try to do, um, uh, let's try to do, um, um, let's see, go back to the assignment. Uh, is everybody ready to uh, uh, make a copy and and go to? Um, uh, we'll try to do number nine, and then we'll try to do like eleven and twelve. Everybody ready for that? Okay, so let's make a, a copy uh, of this. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a copy of uh, of sheets of the sheet for question six. Okay, so um, and I'll make that for nine. Make a copy. All right, so um, now uh, I'm going to get rid of this uh, in question nine sheet. I'm going to get rid of this equa of these equations because I need some new equations. And uh, the hard part about uh, question nine and ten was, um, you know, we're we're using totally different assumptions now. Okay, and because um, I'm saying make a three layer three velocity interpretation of the data. All right, and. Um, uh, I just want to. I just want to use. Um, um, I just want to use a uh, um, the simplest equation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume no dip. Okay. So we're gonna assume no dip. Now you could you do have the software and it's here for uh, for uh, uh, 
using this uh, refract solve program, but um, you know, I just want to investigate uh, uh, what we um, uh, what we have. Okay, so um, you know, obviously we have a dip. It's only ten degrees though, right? But it had that big effect on the on the velocities, but only ten degrees. So you know. I don't know. Is the is the no dip assumption uh, bad? Yeah, but it's not that far off, right? So um, uh, it's uh, uh, let's see. It's something that we uh, we should try. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's get those uh, the right equations out. And uh, let's see. So we want the multiple layer equations for uh, flat reflectors. Um, so we'll need a couple of uh, of equations. Um, we need the. Um, uh, We need the depth from the intercept time, and then we need the two the two refractor um, the two refractor depth. Um, okay, so let me paste that in. Okay, so that's. Uh, Depth of a flat refractor from the intercept time, and uh, I need this equation for um, um, uh, this equation for uh, v two, uh, and I better. Remember that z2 is equal to z1 plus h2. I'm sorry, not v2, uh, z2. OK. And um, so I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to do this interpretation. Uh, Got to go back to uh, 100%. I'm going to do this interpretation only on the blue points, only on the reversal. So I'm just going to remove the uh, the spurious lines. There's, I don't have to worry about reciprocal time. Okay, I just have to draw some, um, uh, you know, draw three slopes now instead of two. So. Um, Okay, what I see, and uh, if you if you doubt it, um, you know, go stand on uh, uh, you know to the side of the screen and look, you know, kind of along the line. All right, what I see is is I see a higher velocity here, a shallower slope than I see over here. Okay, so there's an intermediate slope right there. And it's got to be between these these two slopes I've got here. So you know this line that I already have here, it it kind of fits uh, all of these as a V two, and I'm going to make it fit just I'm going to make it fit, you know, more of the higher velocity points. So I'm going to move its uh, intercept time back there, okay. And now I want to draw a V two line. So um, uh, let's see. All right, I've got to insert a shape. And um, maybe I'll just start here and draw that um, back to here. I st still got to have a, a positive intercept time. OK. And now I'll I'll extend that 
further. All right. So, uh, and, and maybe a bit further to make it more obvious. So I've got a V1 line, which is definitely recognizable, a V2 line, which is sort of barely recognizable, and then a higher velocity V3 line. Okay. So we just have to uh, uh, calculate their, uh, you know, we got to get the intercept times and uh, um, uh, and calculate their uh, um, uh, and calculate their uh, their velocities. Okay, and obviously we got some equations in there that we're not going to use anymore. So we get the uh, v uh, the v three line. Okay, so first, uh, uh, first I'm going to correct my v1 and v2 lines. Let's see. I think I didn't mess with v1. Yeah, so it's the same on the reversal, but I did mess with the v2 lines. So um, I'm going to take it from its. I'm going to get its intercept time, and I'll use that as one of my points. Uh, the intercept time is. Uh, 0 0.045 uh, looks pretty close. 0 0.045, and that's at 15.2 meters. Um, wait a minute. It's reverse. All right. Yeah, I have a to I have a totally new V two line actually. Uh, Fifteen point two oh four five, and uh, there's the V two line up there. Can I see anything? Oh, maybe I'll put it there. So that's uh, seven hundred meters. And um, no, that's not the V two. Sorry, it's the V three line that I'm that I'm actually getting right now. Five, fifteen point two. Um, and. Um, Right. Sorry about that. I'm actually getting the V3 here. Um, 0 0.045 and um, and the uh, I need I need I need another uh, I need another TI. This is going to be uh, TI one, and then I have TI two. Okay, and TI two is 0 0.045. Um, okay. I mean, kind of funny, uh, you know, TI2 belongs to V3, right? So a little bit of uh, uh, mess up in the notation there, really. Uh, okay, now let's get the rest of the V3 line, which is uh, there, 700 and 0 0.22. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Okay, as it was. Drag that equation down there, and now we gotta we gotta do everything for the V two line. I'll get it's its, it's intercept time, so that's uh, uh, zero point oh one at fifteen meters.
And then um, there's the V2 line. And that's 700 and 0 0.23. Right. So I'm going to wipe that out. Right. That's uh, there's no V1 average. Okay. So um, and notice that what we measure here, you know, these are um, these three velocities. That's all we get. I mean, we're we're assuming zero dip. So those are the rock velocities, and that's the reason I chose the reversal because they're not unreasonable rock velocities, right? So it, it, it sort of makes sense. V1 is just under 2,000 meters a second. V2 is just over 3,000. And V3 is just under 4,000. OK. So um, now we just have to get uh, the two depths. Um, let's see. I got to make sure I got the right. Okay, Ti1 is 0 0.01 seconds. Okay, and the other one is 0 0.045. Yeah, so we're good. Uh, I don't need any of these. Let's see. Let's. Uh, enlarge it so you have a chance of seeing it. Okay. Um, so we'll do uh, Z1 first. Um, and that's going to be in meters per second. And uh, so, yes, good point. <laughs> it's just meters. Okay, thank you. So um, let's see. That's equal to uh, uh, Ti. That's really Ti one, right? So that's the the smaller uh, intercept time, right? Uh, divided by 2 times uh, v2 uh, times v1 yeah that's another you know that's another piece of quality control right your your intercept time should should increase and those are just are those where the, the velocity lines The, the intercept times are where oh, okay. where they get back. That's you know right above the source. Yeah, that's the time it is right above the source. So so um, the V two the the intercept time of the V one line is zero, right by definition. The intercept time of the uh, of the v two line is down here, where the v two line gets right above the the source location, right? Which you can't see because it's in the glare, at least for me. Okay, and then the you know af, you know high, larger than that should be inter the intercept time of the v three line, and that's ti two, right? That's the notational problem we have here. Okay, so I got the velocities um, v two times v one. Um, 
and then I divide by the square root of um, uh, v2 squared and I'm lazy so um, I'll just take v2 times v2 right and then minus uh, v1 times v1 uh, so that closes off the square root 12 meters okay now, now we're on the uphill side of the dip right so that's actually not much different from the depths we got before so I you know I could tell my calculations aren't totally wacko um, and now we need uh, h2 um, which is um, going to be in meters as well, and that's a that's a big long equation. So we start with Ti two uh, minus um, two times z one times this. Oh man minus 2 times uh, z1 um, times the square root uh, of uh, v3 squared minus v1 squared. So v3 times v3 minus v1 times v1. Okay, divided by V3, divided by V1. Okay, cut off that mess. Times V3, times V2. It's these equations that make this uh, lab take so long. There's V2. Um, divided by 2, divided by another square root. And we need v3 squared minus v2 squared. v3 times v3 minus v2 times v2. Uh, I think that's it. And I get uh, 87 meters. Right? So um, uh, Z2 is the sum of, of that and, the, and Z1. Yeah. So what what do you want me to? Right, right, right. Here, I'll, let me let me put it up for a while here. So there's uh, there's Z one. You guys getting similar values? You know, if you've got somebody who's fast with a calculator, it might be, uh, might be easier just to uh, uh, get them to punch it out on a calculator and, uh, and give it to you. With the intercept times, I'm just not seeing why that wouldn't be the same if they if you you know draw all lines back to above that point, then they all start being the same. No, they started at different Oh, time. OK. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, the intercept times are different. Okay. Right. You see, they are all meeting at certain points, right? 
and that's okay. You're getting really big numbers. <laughs> At least there's no angles in these ones, right? <laughs> Just when you get. Uh, for each two, we got one ten, and for Z two, we got one twenty seven. That that's good. Um, now, if your if your velocities are higher, then uh, then your then your calculation is right. You know, compare your velocities too. So, what is V one and V two? Right, right. Yeah, they're pretty close. And how do your how do your intercept times compare to mine? Our ti was point zero five, and then ti two is point one eight. So a little bit further out. Oh, you've got yeah, you you've got much larger intercept times. Yeah. So that explains your larger depths. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you know, instead of getting 17 meters on the uphill end for the depth, now the velocities are wrong. You know, that's that's okay. But you know, we had me we had less than 20 meters depth to the 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 lower reflector refractor, okay, uh, from from uh, exercise six, and now we're getting you know like 100 meters, so, and, and that's. That intermediate velocity layer, that's the only change, really. Okay? And it's making this huge difference. Um, okay. Um, I want to move on um, pretty quick here and take a look at 11. At least do one calculation from uh, what we get on, on number 11. Uh, Who's uh, so each group? Let me know when you're ready for that. Okay, group four, five, five is good. Four is good. Three, you're you're ready to move on. Two, let me know when you're ready. So uh, uh, for those of you who are ready, the way we'll move on um, to um, to uh, uh, eleven is by copying uh, question six's sheet. Team two, how are you doing? Oh, dang. We're getting a really low H2. 
between like how 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 low? Much lower. Thirteen. About half the size of our Z one. That 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 could be reasonable. You know, if you're um, <laughs> if you're ti if if there's not much difference between the two intercept times. So H two is the difference is the height between the layer between First, the the the, the first, yeah or the second. Yeah, exactly. There's oh, two refractors, that, three layers. Yeah. That does make sense. <laughs> Is that the last calculation for Z2? Yeah, uh, I'm on, uh, let's see, if I go to uh, 9, yeah, yeah. Z1 plus H2. So that is on. Let me let me tell you where that is. Okay, we're going to move to um, number eleven here, and in answering twelve and thirteen, which we might be able to do. We don't have much time, but we might. Um, is uh, we're going to use these equations on page 31 of um, Seismic 1. And uh, these equations give us, uh, in terms of this delta t, which I'll show you what that is, they give you uh, h or, uh, or v0. OK? And what are those? h is. Um, H is the um, uh, the height of the deflection in the refractor, and V zero is the difference is the different velocity under under uh, some range of receivers. Okay, so and they're both calculated from this this delta t. Okay, and um, all right. So uh, what is delta t? All right. Now you've all noticed, I'm sure. This is so. This is a copy of um, of uh, number uh, number one, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, a copy of question six's answers. Um, I mean, uh, this this line is not is not fitting uh, very well, right? There's a lot of points that are running, you know, up and down and all that. So um, I'm going to move I'm going to move the line back parallel. I'm not going to change its slope. I'm going to keep the velocity interpretation, but I'm going to move it back parallel to go to so, through some of the latest points, which are here. Okay, I, I still I'm ignoring these these spurious picks here, and then uh, let's see if I can uh, if I can copy this and paste it. Yeah, I made another copy, and it's parallel, and I'm going to move that one to some of the earliest points. Okay, and um, and so, uh, you know, I could I could draw a line with this slope as early as here, and as late as way back here. Okay, and what's the difference in time? Um, so uh, uh, let's see. It's about let's see. That's about 0.27. And uh, let me just get rid of the uh, the. Um, Reciprocal timeline there, uh, 0.27, and this is about 0.327. Um, so it's uh, just under uh, 0.05. Uh, let's call it 0.047, maybe. And so. Um, you know the. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, wipe all this out. Um, um, and and really, uh, uh, let's see. 
So I'm going to get uh, uh, delta t, which I'll, I'll call dt here. I know you can't see it. Um, so uh, for the, and that was the forward. So the forward dt is 0 0.47. Is that what I called it? Almost half a, no, no. Yeah, 0, 0.05, right. 0.047 is what I was after. And that's in seconds. And then um, the uh, uh, the reverse DT is, uh, OK, now we, we should play the same game with, uh, with this. Um, I'm going to move that back to just graze the latest points. OK, and I'm copy and paste it. And uh, oh, there it is. Um, and I'll put it just right there to graze the earliest points. OK, and the difference between the two is I'll call it 0 0.015. Uh, you know that that distance right there that that distance I'll, I'll, I'll I don't know maybe it, it may be slightly less so these are these are times between parallel lines and it's also in seconds okay um, so uh, uh, now let's um, Uh, let's get uh, an H, um, which is going to be in meters. And so we take, uh, um, oh, I shouldn't have wiped everything out, should I? So I need those velocities. Well, I'll just get them from, uh, from, from 6 here. So uh, let's see. I need V1 and V2 and the critical angle. I guess I can I can put them in. Um, okay, everything's there. Okay, so H is. Uh, Uh, is uh, delta t, which is there, uh, times uh, the cosine of the critical angle. And we have the critical angle um, right there. And we got to multiply by pi and divide by 180. OK. And then we've got to divide by these 1 over v1 minus 1 over v2. And so I'll use the v1 average again. And there's v2, which I had to calculate. Um, and uh, you know, so let's put that into uh, again. Uh, no decimals necessary. Um, and I'm just going to grab the equation out of the formula bar to put into here. Okay, I just have to change it to uh, 19 instead of 15.
Um, okay, so that's as far as we're going to be able to go today. So, um, uh, you know, I'll give you a couple minutes to email me your uh, your Excel files because I got to decide on a winner. So I, you know, just what? Yeah, you know, we we've worked on uh, six, eight, nine, and eleven, and I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to look at, at what each team has done on each question, and we're going to try to do that real fast. Can we see your plot again real quick? What? I'm sorry? Can we see the plot again real quick? Oh. So right here? Yeah. Yeah. So let me know when you've sent the email and I'll start picking them up. Okay, so we got team four. Okay, you got team two. Wait, but it says team one? Team two, lab one. So this uh, this one from McBean, yeah, that's team two. Okay, it just says uh, the file name says uh, says team one. Okay. Um. 
Okay, so that's team two. All right. And uh, we've got team five. <laughs> Team five. Uh, team three. Okay, team one. All right. So I want the I want the file, but you're uh, you're out of the running for today's prize. Okay. All right. We're set then. There's always. This, there's like four. There's four more left, so you know everybody's got a chance. <laughs> All right. So let's start with team two. Okay. This is uh, team two, I believe, and uh, number six. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah, thank you. There we go. Okay. So um, let's see. I see the intercept time. Um, the, uh, okay, uh, the, the V1 line doesn't hit the, uh, the source. Okay. So uh, slopes look good. Um, the calculations uh, look good. Um, yeah, so um, uh, this one, um, this one, I have to give uh, uh, an eighteen out of twenty. Um, so keep track of your total here. Uh, number eight. Okay, we're still we're still not at the uh, at the zero point. Um, Let's see. The reciprocal time is good. Um, let's see. And the velocities are you guys who are uh, who are looking right. Um, the velocities are lower. Yeah, they. Let's see. Is V two lower? I'm not convinced V two is lower. No. Okay. So uh, all right. This one gets a, uh, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's a PC Mac thing. It's very common. All right. Okay, so, so I'll go back to six and give you full credit on that. All right. Um, but your, your velocity on eight is, um, uh, oh, it is lower. Okay. 2008, All right. That all looks good. Um, and you got, uh, shallower depths, right? Uh, and shallower dip. Okay, so uh, let's give uh, uh, 10 out of 10. Now, uh, explain to me, what do you think is your, um, you know, after doing this interpretation, um, how, how well do you know the velocity? How well do you know the depths? It all starts with the depths. 
are good, then you might get good results. So, so can we, you know, you give me numbers here. You know, we've got we've got three or four significant figures, right? Uh, you know, are these are these results good to one percent, ten percent, fifty percent? You know, say, say the velocity. How how good's the velocity? Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's look at number nine. Um, let's see. So uh, uh, you're getting kind of a low depth, but you got some sort of right. So uh, and that's pretty. Now that should meet right, but the other ones are are pretty much where you had them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and it looks, you know, it's not behind, it's out in front, the V2 line. So that looks good. Okay. And um, so, uh, 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 given this, how much, uh, you know, What's the proportion of, of deflection in the uh, in the refractor? You know, is uh, is the refractor? You know, the refractor is dipping down from like twenty meters depth to like one hundred fifty meters depth. You know, whatever your question six says, um, how how much is it changing according to your uh, to your results here? Um, you know, is there a, uh, um, so the, the depth that you got, you know, um, are those, uh, you know, definitely, is it, is it planar to within five meters of that or is it something else? Okay. Um, all right. So let's look at um, uh, you know everything's everything's implemented right, so I can't I can't criticize that. Um, let's look at uh, at team um, three. Um, that's team three. All right, uh, number six. Um, all right, you're meeting the uh, reciprocal time, and uh, that looks good. Um, all right, you're about uh, interesting. You've got a uh, uh, your dip is the same as as I got, but your um, your depth is uh, is uh, your minimum depth is fairly large, is a bit larger. Uh, I guess I can see that you've got a larger intercept time there. All right. Um, on this one, oh boy, I have to keep enlarging it. Uh, you know this one is a little too extreme. Uh, it's uh, it's hardly brushing the uh, any of the points. Okay. Um, right, right, right. You know the way I the way I tried to show it was was kind of you know. You know, ninety percent chance of being higher than this, right? Okay. Uh, number nine. Um, that looks good. I don't see any problems with that. Uh, and you've got the very large depths. Uh, yeah, because that's laid back fairly late. Uh, right. Okay. 
and then uh, 11, uh, you've got the, um, oh yeah, the, the uh, H calculations. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, what do you think about the, uh, the, the depths to the, um, uh, the, the velocities and depths we got for uh, number six and number, number eight? You know, how, how accurate are they? How, um, you know, what we're trying to do is determine the, the real dip and the real, the real velocity and the, you know, and number six and number seven and number eight, they're all, you know, exercises to, we, you know, to try to figure that out. So how do we do? You know, so my, my, you know, the client says, uh, what's the, what's the minimum possible depth that this, you know, if I go to some point here, you know, along the dip, uh, so take the deepest point, you know, what's the minimum possible depth and what's the maximum possible depth? How would you, how would you, uh, how would you term those? What would you tell the client? Showing based on our, on our, I guess we had done the higher, higher velocity, uh, best fit trend, it showed that relationship. So, so you did a lower velocity one that, yeah. and that gives you what, a minimum or maximum depth? Which it did, right? Right. Yeah. And how different were, was it from the preferred depth? It was pretty different. By like, I don't know, I can't remember the values. Yeah. Right. Different by like, let's see. Ten, ten so eight. Uh, the Z max is one ten. By about fifty. And six. Yeah, about fifty. Uh, fifty meters. Yeah. Is that is that a lot of the depth? It seems like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How different are the velocity? How different is V2? I believe it decreased by Yeah. Yeah, by uh, uh, 25%. Right. So we're in the neighborhood of 25 to 50% confidence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, and and uh, then the uh, you know again uh, how how big are the warps on the uh, um, how big are the warps on the on the refractor? Are they kind of you know what's the relationship between the warps on the refractor to your um, to your uncertainty on the uh, on the on the depths from six and eight. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, team four. Let's see. So, um, all right, number six. Uh, yeah, you tried to, didn't quite, but tried to meet the uh, the reciprocal time. Um, okay, and you got reasonable values there. Fairly, fairly deep. Two hundred and twenty nine. 200 meters and 29 meters for Z max and min. Uh, and here the low velocity interpretation. So guys, is it lower? It looks lower. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. We've got uh, 596, 9600, 2125, 3048. Yeah, it's lower. Okay, wait, six thousand. Yeah, yeah, considerably lower. Okay, and your depths uh, are uh, not as extreme, not as extremely down. Okay, so what do you think about the accuracy of the uh, uh, of of say uh, V two? What you know, 
What can you say about how well you know V2? You know, the, the, the Seismolab uh, might say, well, I really need this bedrock velocity for locating earthquakes here. Uh, and how well, you know, after this experiment, how well do we know it? Who's team four? You guys. OK. Yeah. <laughs> Right, but but if you uh, uh, you know we did two interpretations, right, and one's biased. But you think you could put a, a, a floor on the velocity? It's different by um, forty five hundred to uh, thirty seven hundred. You know that's how much? How much is that? Um. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's more than uh, more than ten percent. Um, and what about the depths? Uh, what would you be willing to say about the uh, the depths? You know, uh, client says uh, I've got a I've got a you know I've got to drill over on the the this end. Um. And uh, on the deep end, and uh, and and my um, you know my friend here's got a drill that that will only go to 150 meters, and uh, you know what would you advise? Probably. <laughs> okay. Well, you're team five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, moved, it definitely moves shallower. One fifty seven, but I don't know, given the in between let's say just banking on it being one hundred and fifty is probably where it's gonna go. Right. What would you tell him, you know, if uh, if he asked you a different question, okay, how deep what's the deepest I could possibly have to drill here to reach uh, the bedrock, to reach the refractor? What would you say? Over two hundred. Okay. Uh, what if he asks you uh, okay you know, uh, my better friend's got a got a drill that will go to two ten. Is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> right. He's going to spend. He's going to spend more than theoretical money, though, right? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Nine. Um, uh, that looks good. Uh, and you've got that intermediate layer, and uh, it's pushing it down fairly far, but but uh, looks okay. Um, and eleven, um, yeah, eighty-seven and forty-six meters. Let's see. You know, this is probably. Uh, uh, you know, I'd probably put a little bit further, but. That's not going to make that much difference, right? You know, and maybe this one is a little too influenced by the um, by the size of the points on the graph. Maybe. Uh, okay, team five. All right, let's go to number six. Um, so uh, tell me the truth now. Yep. <laughs> it was it's supposed to go where? Over the source. It went over the source. Okay. Yeah. Got the same, yeah, you got the same problem as uh, team two. All right. Uh, let's see, reciprocal time. Uh, I don't know. You're a little sloppy on the reciprocal time. It's it's uh, it's going to go up too far by the time you get over to the the forward source. Uh, and it's not quite going up far enough here uh, to the reverse source. Close. Let's see. 
So then um, let's compare. And you've got uh, you've got a fairly substantial dip. Um, and uh, yeah, that comes from these velocities being very different. Uh, let's look at eight. Uh, there we go. Um, so what do you uh, what do you say about uh, about accuracy? No, it's not accurate. It's close. Um, okay, so I'm the client. How you know how deep? I, I want to you know. Okay, I'll spend the money. What's the deepest that I would have to drill on this line? You know, the gold company wants to get a sample of the rock at the base of the alluvium, and they, you know, it's not going to cost them extra money, but they want to know which drill to move in. Can you go back to the our first? Uh, number six? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's see. Let me just check this out. To be fair, trying to be fair here. Uh, wait, nine. That's what I wanted. Let's see. So that looks okay. And same story with that one. Yep. Okay. Um, and. Uh, yeah, yours, uh, yours are some of the shallower depths on this one. I guess that comes from the, uh, the slightly smaller times. Um, all right. OK, I like those limits. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And um, so, so uh, Tell me about the proportion of um, of uh, um, you know how much does this does this uh, refractor uh, you know worm around? I mean, are we talking about a pretty planar refractor here, or is it is it like uh, you know sinusoiding all over the place? You know, there's some parts that are uh, early and some parts late, and you're getting an H of uh, 81 meters. And what what's the proportion of the of the depth? Is it 10 percent? Okay, fifty percent. All right. So uh, there were two teams that said uh, fifty percent. Was that um, three and five? Is that correct? Uh, so now I got to decide uh, uh, which one I like better. Um, <laughs> you pay attention to detail. Yeah. But that's a that's a Mac problem, right? Is it? <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, uh, uh, team three. Now that you've heard all of the teams, um, do you want to uh, say any more about about our accuracy or or what you would tell the client? <laughs> but you're about to send him a bill for you know twenty five thousand dollars, right? We would send a fruit basket. <laughs> that's we a we tell them we're, that, we're yeah. confident in our picks, our, our rival picks. That's what we're most confident in. Yeah. That's 
that, that, say that again. The, about confident in our, in our base picks. Okay. In the, as, our, as our foundation. All right. So this is team fives I'm mm -hmm. looking at, and uh, yeah, there's a just a couple of duplicated picks, but you know, team five has made him pretty smooth. All right. Let's go back to um, to team three. Okay, and you guys don't even have any, you don't have not one duplicated pick that I can see. See, you made your picks very clean. Um, and, you know, your commercial client wouldn't notice that, but if you had a government client, they would probably check on that. So I, I think on that basis, I've got to give it to team three. Good try. You know, and in fact, everybody really got almost everything right. Thank you. Now you're also as, as disadvantaged today because you're missing a member, right? That's right. Okay. Now the rest of you, the their missing member is is sick today. So, do you want me to to um, you know, just not give her a gift card? Do you want me to to go ahead and give her a gift card, or do you want me to uh, to give her gift card just to to that team? Does that sound fair to everybody else? Sure. And they can decide whether they want to give it to her or keep it for themselves. <laughs> it's like Survivor now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to announce to the class. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So uh, congratulations, uh, Team 3. Thanks. And sorry this went long. And ours is now into you and good. Okay, appreciate yeah, that. And better than team three. Dang. We'll let it go. <laughs> well, we'll try to do better next time. Quicker. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> it's only five bucks. Hey, it means a lot to me. All right. You like Bebo's? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right.